Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, and I pray that all of you are staying warm. We actually got snow last night. We woke up to a surprise, and it's all gone. Yeah, every bit of it. I figured it would be, because it's 32 now, and they said sunny. Oops, let me turn that off. So, I know most of you are probably down in the teens or lower, and I'm so sorry for you. I wish I could teleport the warmest coat and fuzziest blanket and, and thickest whatever pair of leggings and snow boots that I could right now and hat, one of those Russian czar hats that they put on and I remember the year my grandson asked for one for Christmas I think they're made out of some kind of animal skins and so they're very very warm and his mom got him one <laughs> he wore that thing to school that year he went to public school he just had to have it <laughs> I guess they learned about them in school. Anyway, moving on. I'm here to share some messages from the Lord with you. I want to just tell you about the first one. It's by Edward Umling. And this is a really good one because the Lord gave him clarification for those who have been doubting him because he mentioned some months that something was going to happen. Let me see if I can by chance pull it up to that. Other sign, I see like a globe next to a globe. Time darkness, they are whereabouts very soon. I now turn and add the following addendum and explanatory information. Here it is. When the Lord says this December, this thing or that thing, it means the December in which this thing or that thing occurs. When the Lord says November, such and such will happen, it means the November that such and such occurs. When the Lord says this is the last election and this king will come down, that means when you see this king come down, then know for certain, no more elections. That's the end of it. Okay, that was the very end of it. So it was a three minute, 59 second one. So it was another long one for him. So I wanted to share that. I'll put the link in the description box or you can just go to Edward Umling. Uh, this is dated February 16th. Oh, I did, did I say that? that it's, yeah, I did. Tuesday, February 16th. Okay, it's 3.03 right now. As liberties are removed, they will not be restored. That's the title. Okay? Now, moving on to the letter from Dawn that I got at 6.29 a.m. And by the way... She said, anybody who wants to get her newsletter is welcome to write to her. Let's see. It's, um, oh, shoot. You know how it is when you, I should have left up her reply. Just a sec. I have to go all the way to the top. You're supposed to put in the dis um, title. See, I get so many emails. This is all from one newsletter from one day to the next. Hold on. Still on yesterday. I get hers first because it comes from so far away. It comes in at like 6, 6.30. 
yesterday, 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 here it is. Oh, shoot. She wrote me personally. Okay, I will find it and I will put it in the description box, okay? Sign me up. I think that's what she said. Sign me up. I can't remember her name. I mean, it's, she uses Dawn. I probably said Dawn. Lord, God, I'm sorry, Lord, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, anyway, go back to inbox. I'm going to share a couple of these with you. The first one is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Okay, the Lord says, Make every effort to establish yourself in closer relationship to me. Proceed in such a way that your life cycles are always moving upward to greater spiritual heights. Choose to extend beyond where you are and reach to achieve all that is good and righteous while deliberately refusing the temptations of your flesh. This time will either be marked by extraordinary growth in the spirit or stagnation and loss of what you have gained thus far. Be wise in your choices. Okay, that's, uh, she puts Matthew twelve thirty three. either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for a tree is known by its fruit. Now, I looked that up in the NASB, and it says exactly the same thing, and I believe that Marcia uses the NASB, if I'm not mistaken, but in this case, it says exactly the same thing. Now, this one, I think it was given to a watchman on the wall, or maybe it's titled, it, there, it's not clear the way she typed it up, a watchman on the wall dot 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 armed and dangerous 14th of February 2021 5:19 p.m. PST would that be Pacific Standard Time that might be when he received it I will not be mocked says the Lord I will not allow my name to be dragged through the mud of madness that now controls your government and your nation. Those who think your actions are hidden and soon realize nothing is hidden that will not be exposed by Jehovah God. Repent, says the Lord. Repent of your wicked, evil ways, says the Lord. Repent, therefore, of this wickedness of yours, and pray to the Lord that, if possible, the intent of your heart may be forgiven you. Now it adds, in the middle of a message, a scripture. So whether God threw it in or this person, I don't know. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Repent, therefore, and turn, says the Lord, that your sins may be blotted out. Times of ignorance God overlooks. But now he commands all people everywhere to repent. Yes, yeah, sometimes we just, when we're learning, when we're babes in Christ, we're ignorant of the word. But now people have been telling, like 
on our channels, I don't know about pastors in church, to get yourself right, get into your word, learn what Jesus said to do and to not do, and then read on what Paul said to do and not do, what is okay to do, don't condemn those who do it, and so on and so forth. He's commanding all people everywhere to repent. But I felt it odd that there would, if Jesus said this scripture, and I don't mean to imply, okay, I'm not really sure this is from the Lord, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. I just wish it had been typed up differently because I feel like the person who got it put it there. Anyway. You can take that to the Lord or not, but I'm going to tell you, this first part that's in quotes, I will not be mocked, says the Lord, and it ends with, if possible, the intent of your heart may be forgiven you, unquote. And then it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Repent, therefore, it could have been quoting the scripture, can he not? He read it when he was on earth. So, I'd like to know your opinion. Okay, those of you who talk to God and hear from him, if you don't, try it. All right, this one. Um, I'm going to skip that one. I think that one was more for, well, it might be pertaining to some of you. I'll go ahead and read it. It pertained to me, I got to tell you. February 16th, 2021. I don't want to withhold anything the Lord has given somebody and they ste stepped out in faith and shared it. Why should I ho hold it back, right? It is more blessed to give than to receive you know that from scripture and also from experience it is also easier on your emotions for you to give than to receive if you're living right otherwise you have a selfish attitude oh i want to i want to receive i want this for christmas i want that for christmas oh i want this and that and the other and the other for my birthday uh, you know what i'm saying well anyway let me, let me move on i shouldn't add it to anything um you have been comfortable taking care of yourself since you were a child in other words i don't want I don't need your charity. I'm doing fine. I'm taking care of myself. Thank you. You see what that's saying? It is hard to receive, but you need to graciously receive. Others don't do it for the blessing, but they do it out of love. Do not keep them from their blessing. That meant a lot to me. 1 John 4, verse 7 from the NASB says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. And that was given to Bev Robinson. Okay, I think there was one more. Okay, um, okay, I'll go ahead and put this one in. Are you, it's dated February 16th also. Are you doing your part to promote the furtherance of my gospel? My word has withstood the tests of time and has endured other kings and kingdoms, wars and threats of wars, plagues and pestilence are no match for the power and might I possess. 
humbly use my strength and resources astutely. Along the horizon await prolonged hardships. Use your time and assets sensibly. Tough times don't last. Those who possess strength, wisdom, and discernment outwit the foolish. The scripture with that is Isaiah 5511 in the NOG. I had to look that up. That's names of God Bible. I never heard of such thing. Did you know that God has many, many names and they're all in the Bible? I don't know if they uh, make them in red or blue. I don't know. I didn't read up on it, but it's names of God Bible. My word, which comes from my mouth, is like the rain and snow. It will not come back to me without results. It will accomplish whatever I want and achieve whatever I send it to do. Hmm. That sounds like my word will not come back to me void. Kevin Robinson received that. February 16th. I have created each person in my image. Yet every person is unique. Just as each drop of water in the ocean is the same, each is also different. Nonetheless, when all of the drops of water come together, they form a torrent of water that cannot be stopped. It is that way with you, my children. Alone, you may accomplish many things, but together there are no limits what my body can accomplish. And they put Deuteronomy 32, verses 30 and 31 from the NASB. How could one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Unless their rock, capitalized, had sold them and the Lord had given them up. Indeed, their rock is not like our rock. Their rock is not capital. Our rock is capital. Even our enemies themselves judge this. You might want to look that one up. Deuteronomy 32, verses 30 through 31. Given to Jonas Bolin. Okay, and that's the end of the messages put in Dawn's newsletter today. And they were such a blessing. And so I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over each and every one of us and our devices, and our internet connections, and let us all stay in prayer for anyone still without power and without internet connections, so they can't, you know, see what's going on. But I pray they're using their time, staying warm, and spending it with God as much as possible. Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.